This video is kindly brought to you by Skillshare. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are returning today, let's talk about how to become more knowledgeable and untouchable because I truly believe that knowledge is power and I've basically built my entire career off of it. So let's get right into the video. I always hear you guys asking me about how I've come to know so much about just awareness and I think life in general. And honestly, I can tell you that it's only through experience that you can truly learn to build that foundation for yourself. When I meet people, they always tell me that I'm somebody who's very deep. I don't do like short, uh, what is it called? I don't do small talk like I don't do small talk I'm a big believer in the fact that age is truly just a number more than that I believe it's what you choose to do with those experiences an example you know two people going through very hard things both had a very hard life but one of them chooses to play the victim while the other chooses to play the survivor that's the only difference so for me it all comes down to choice there's this quote that I really like and it's probably one of my favorite sayings and it's that if you are not willing to learn nobody can help you if you're determined to learn nobody can stop you and i think the reason that this kind of stood out to me is because in my own life this has been such an apparent truth whenever i was never willing to learn there was not a single soul on walking the earth that could help me learn or that could push me to want to do better for myself because if that wasn't a motivation within me already i was never going to take those steps for myself but when i was determined to learn and when i felt like i was unstoppable and that i could learn anything that, that i wanted and become the absolute best version of myself no matter what anybody tried to do they could not stop me this honestly goes back to not allowing people to render you powerless i think it's so easy for other people to give their power away so easily and the thing is when other people do things to us it's a little bit comforting to feel like we can sell ourselves the narrative that we play that we are the victim but the reason that this is so detrimental to you is because nothing changes that way in comfort nothing changes that's what you have to realize when you're comfortable with something you are not growing i promise you it's always up to you and no matter what situation or circumstance you're in even if it's really really hard and somebody's truly trying to render you powerless it's always up to you it's always a choice that you have to make for yourself remember that if there's a will there's a way if there's a will, there's a way. My number one thing, and I know maybe it's not for everybody, but it's books. Whenever I want to learn something or just truly feel like I want to delve myself into the experience of actually learning this skill, I will read books on it. I did the same thing with investing, managing money, um, both things that I was not very great at and now I have a lot more knowledge about terminology and different actions that I should take, right? I really want to make a whole separate video on a list of books that have really truly transformed my life. I know you guys have already asked for it. It's coming, I promise. But reading a wide array of books and having a very versatile selection where you're reading things not necessarily of the same genre, you should even read things that kind of oppose your perspective too. So if you have a certain set of beliefs, you should be open to reading something or it helps to be open to reading something that opposes that point of view. Why? Because this way you're gonna gain so much more perspective. And when you gain perspective, you become more knowledgeable. If you can put yourself in the shoes of somebody else and try to see things from their point of view, you are already more knowledgeable than the average person. Books will help you learn not just about different topics and about other people and psychology, but about yourself. There's a lot of books that I read. The first time I read them, I always think to myself, I'm gonna read this a second time over, and I usually do. And I heard someone say that if you read a book more than once, it's not because you saw something in the book that you've never seen before, it's because you saw something in yourself that you've never seen before. Every book I've ever read has always unlocked something in me that I was like, I didn't know that that was there before. And I think the discovery is what makes the process of reading so much more fun for me. It's not like that for everyone, like I said, but for me, number one is books and I credit a lot to the books that I've read, philosophies that I've learned and the habits that I've picked up on. It always kind of goes back to the books that I've been reading my whole life. I've been reading books since I was 14. Um, these kind of books, like these self-development books, I've been reading them since I was 14, so it's been a while. But I, I fell in love the second I started reading the, the, that genre because I was like, there's so much wisdom, there's so much value here. You are the most important thing that you can study. And the real way to become knowledgeable is to understand how you learn and go based off that. Because when you speak to other people, they will acknowledge that you're coming from a place of extreme awareness. And awareness immediately sends that impression that you are a knowledgeable and very respectable person when you think somebody is knowledgeable it's also because to some extent you realize that this person is actually 
self-aware. To some extent, this person is self-aware. Knowledge about the right things not only gets you very, very far, gets you paid, gets you successful, but it also gets you an insane amount of respect. On top of that, when it pertains to becoming untouchable, if you know who you are, you will already feel untouchable because nobody can decide that for you. People always want to know how to become powerful. But my question for you is, have you ever met a truly powerful person who doesn't know how to be alone? Who seeks out other people's opinions all the time and doesn't trust their own judgment? I bet you haven't. You will learn so much about life just from talking to other people. You have to make it a habit of talking to other people, strangers and whatever it is. This is coming from somebody who absolutely used to despise starting up a conversation with just about anybody. I was such an introvert. Trust me. Let me be the one to tell you that it's a skill that's very worth knowing. I also want to note, and listen, I might be shooting myself in the foot with this one because I give advice for a living. There's no amount of information out there, no YouTube videos, books, manuals, whatever it is, that is going to teach you more than experience will. Seeing yourself actually going through something, having to go through the pain and then rising out of it as a better person than when you went into it, that nobody can teach you how to do that. You have to do that for yourself. Take advice, but also take everything that everybody says, even me, with a grain of salt. Because I'm sitting here speaking to you guys with all of the experiences that I have grown up with, which is completely different than what you have grown up with. Experience is everything. Experience is everything. And um, there is no better teacher than life itself. Learning real life skills should always be on the top of your priority list. I don't care what it is that you're learning, but always continue to learn. Currently, I'm trying to learn more about social media and content creation and especially video editing. And this is where Skillshare is so helpful. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of courses on just about anything, you guys. Most of these classes are led by actual industry experts in film, illustration, design, productivity, like anything that you want to learn, you can learn on there. I truly plan to make the most of the rest of my summer learning the skills I need to learn to make my content even better. If you don't feel like you're as knowledgeable as you would like to be, start there. You can start any course in any area of your life that you're truly interested in. Anybody looking to start their own businesses, you guys are telling me all the time how many things you want to do. Start a YouTube channel, start doing this, start doing that. Just start. Learn what you need to learn. For example, a lot of you guys asked me about when I first started my YouTube channel and funny enough, ironically, I used Skillshare for the first time before I started my YouTube channel on how to start a YouTube channel. I took Ali Abdal's course and grow your first YouTube channel and I did not know anything about starting a YouTube channel so I was like let me just try it out right so it was a huge part of the reason that I started because I think one of the things that he mentioned that I remember was he said you need to beat perfectionism because the first 50 videos are just for you and I think when he said that that really inspired me to start because I was like you know what even if the first couple of videos are not perfect at least I'm starting you have to beat that part of your mind that's trying to convince you that it should be perfect and that's the same with learning any skill you have to be patient with yourself Skillshare, I think, is a great way to kickstart that, and that's why I'm so excited that they reached out to me. So if you guys are ready to start becoming more knowledgeable yourself, Skillshare is giving you guys a one-month free trial when you use the link in my description. I would love to know what you guys think of it if you do decide to try it. Let me know in the comments down below, and let's get back into the video. More importantly, instead of chasing like money, bags, men, whatever it is that you're after, like you should be after peace of mind. Peace of mind is number one. It's always number one. You cannot tell me anything different. When you can come back to yourself, do you know what that feels like to be able to come back to yourself? Anything that happens, anything that anybody does to you, anything that whatever, like you don't just don't take it personally. You go back to yourself and you just get to live life that way. That is an amazing feeling and I want you guys to experience it too. Am I saying it happened overnight? Absolutely not. I had to work very, very hard. And a life of devotion, I think, that sometimes people forget is actually very difficult to attain. It's not easy to wake up every day and to make the right choices or to wake up every day and make decisions that will inch you closer to a better tomorrow. And I don't think that people realize how difficult that is. And it's only when I'm in those moments when I have to fight with myself about what decisions I'm making and who I truly want to be around that I realize this deep sense of inner peace I would never give it up and um, I've given it up before many times because I thought that something was worth a worth a trade-off I could trade my peace in for something in return I think the thing that inspired today's video was the fact that currently my life feels so different like insanely different than it ever has before There's, there will never be an era like this one in my life I don't need to sprint anymore
I feel a deep sense of peace that I don't need to sprint anymore. I don't want to sprint. I don't want to keep running. You know, I want to walk. I want to slow down. I want to take things in until I can achieve that goal of mine. Because slow living, I think, is a moment to moment decision. It's, it's about coming back to yourself. It's about being present. And uh, that is my end goal at the end of the day. So when it pertains to becoming knowledgeable, I think for me, knowledge is also wisdom in a way. The more I can learn about teachings and practices that will help me come back to myself, will help me practice a more you know, mindful life where I actually take everything in and I get to breathe, that to me is success, really and truly. My one piece of advice to younger girls, like I, I can see on my channel that some of you guys haven't even reached high school. And at that age, prioritizing like crushes and having like little crushes here and there like that's fine right but you should always have the desire to nurture your mind your body your soul like that is going to be so important to you when you get older trust me figure out who you are and what you want before you go into a relationship i know you're like thinking what does this have to do with becoming knowledgeable and untouchable becoming untouchable is about knowing what you want and being so sure of it this is something that i feel like took me a little bit of like it took me time to learn this and i feel like because i was always so lenient with people always trying to be kind always trying to be whatever it didn't really get me anywhere i'm not gonna lie it taught me that if you have solid boundaries because you relentlessly worked on yourself surrounding yourself with people that are just gonna make you feel less than does not appeal to you anymore and i don't know like it just i feel the most at peace right now and it is the best feeling that you can ever feel because i truly feel like anything could happen and nothing would knock my structure down like nothing could would ever knock my foundation down because i know exactly who i am and uh, maybe i'm saying that today and i'll discover more about myself tomorrow because every day that i wake up the only thing i learn continuously is that i don't know anything at all I'm gonna be honest with you guys, as a woman, it is not enough to be pretty anymore. It is not enough as a person, as a human being, to be good looking anymore. Everybody's good looking. What else? What else do you have? Seriously. And unfortunately, this is something that I think a lot of younger girls don't realize. And I never realized it myself when I was younger, but beauty, like external beauty, is always temporary. It's going to fade. I find that as I'm getting older, it's becoming more of a desire for me to become knowledgeable and actually internally know myself rather than to keep making myself look better and better. Because the tendency is when you're growing up as a woman, it's more validation. Where can I get more attention? How can I get people to like me more? Blah, 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 blah. Let me be the good girl. Let me do everything right, whatever it is, right? But then on the inside, you don't actually feel like you have it together, especially, especially now. I'm placing huge importance on building myself on the inside so I become like steel and I, I plan like I know I'm gonna become that way because I already feel like I'm there that grit and what I'm trying to build within myself as a, as a pure foundation I truly feel like that's coming to me now so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you guys think of it and I will see you guys in the next one